up you guys welcome back again to my channel my name is Jen and if this is your first time please don't forget to like this video subscribe comment and share so guys today we're gonna be talking about Amber Lynn Reed and Whitney Wade Thor of TLC so essentially when I look at these two people I just noticed they had so many similarities and I just wanted to point out those similarities because they are a topic that interests me let's start with Amberlynn Reed so with Amberlynn Reed if you're a youtuber or you're like in the mukbang world you should be familiar with um, Amberlynn Reed she's pretty hated here on these YouTube streets by her fans and haters included so guys Amberlynn Reed has been doing the same cycle for almost a decade now a few episodes ago she said that she was rebranding herself I don't know what she's rebranding exactly because at the end of the day it's the same old eating in the apartment staying in the apartment doing stupid grocery hauls horrid hauls aka torrid and then going to ross or target so whitney and amber are similar in terms of like their weight struggles now amber looks like she's a lot bigger than whitney is the only difference between them to me is that whitney actually goes out and about she actually travels to different countries she spends time with her friends you see her out doing stuff and she actually leaves her house that's the main difference that i see with whitney and amber besides that i feel like amber and whitney have been stuck in an almost decade year long cycle can you imagine being stuck in a cycle for almost 10 years doing the same thing and one thing I really pointed out with these two young ladies guys don't say it's fat shaming or anything like that is it's simply that these two refuse to lose weight I think um, Whitney lost like 70 pounds but based on the new season to me she still looks big so I'm not sure what weight she lost and she's trying to train people and i'm like how does this work like will let her in his gym and i'm trying to figure out how is she trying to train people and low-key when she trained that one overweight lady the comment section really like roasted her they were like whitney you were out of breath the same way the person that you're training was out of breath <laughs> like this doesn't make any sense like how are you trying to become a trainer and you can't even get yourself together who wants an obese trainer this is not making any sense to me and no I'm not fat shaming her I'm just kind of like make this make sense it's not making any sense okay and I feel like with both of these ladies I'm not sure they've actually gotten to a point in their lives where they would choose themselves and actually love themselves first before anything else I feel like both of them are always desperate to be in a relationship they're always seeking out people and Amber's case she's always seeking out people on the internet within a month of each breakup who does this like what type of weirdo does this and amber is the one that does this and she allows these strangers in their home in her home after a month of only knowing them like it's so cringe and it's so like people stay safe out here like that's not safe behavior that's not mentally sound behavior okay like you just letting in a stranger after a month to come after a month to come live with you and in Whitney's case each season I feel like whoever she's dating or whoever is quote unquote courting her she's always chasing after them like i don't even think they're chasing i don't even think that they're courting her low key i think she just kind of clings on to whoever like responds back for these two women to be in their 30s the way they act they act like teenagers who have never gotten attention from any guy it's so weird it's like giving I don't know how to explain it. It's like, damn, tell me you're desperate without telling me you're desperate. Like, this is not a good look, and this should be a note to all the kids out there. Work on yourself, not only mentally, but physically, and that way you can 
not be desperate in all realms, whether it be relationship wise or in your life period. And whenever I see them on the screen, they just ooze desperation. They ooze attention seeking. They ooze pick me, pick me, pick me. And it's like, at this big age, this should not be what you're seeking. You should be seeking to be mentally stable and to be physically, you know, in a state where you are happy with yourself, are happy with what you look like when you look in the mirror. And a lot of people have actually said that like women shouldn't date when they're like overweight or when they're obese because like their options are limited. And you know, I was one of the people who didn't quite believe that. I felt like it was a bunch of hoopla. But the older I get, the more I realize that, yeah, like when you're a bit heavy set, you tend to, I don't know, I guess fall for people who are not it. And every time I see Amber in a new relationship or I see Whitney in a new relationship, the people that they're with are not giving me, I'm really here for love. I'm really here because I like you even. Like, I'm just here to be here. That last guy Whitney dated, Chase, I was just looking like, what do y'all have in common? He looked like he didn't want to be there 90% of the time. And she just looked like she was holding on for dear life. And we know how that ended. He ended up having a baby on her, which was really like sad and disappointing, but it was just kind of like, I just didn't see him being into her at all. Like not even the littlest bit. And this new guy, the Frenchman that she's trying to, I don't, I don't know, get attention from in this new season of My Big Fat Fabulous Life. We'll see how that goes. I haven't watched the whole season yet. I know it just started. So hopefully that's not a train wreck either, but we see that she went over to Paris to go meet him. I'm like, Whitney, tell me you're desperate without telling me you're desperate. Like these two ladies need to get it together. Just get your body right. That way your options won't be limited and you won't have to deal with people who are low key, not even up to par with where you're at in life. And you won't have to throw shade at your exes, which is what Amber Lynn does all the time is throw shade at her exes. She's done it to Destiny. She's done it to Becky. And it's like, girl, let it go. I know you thought you were going to marry them. I know you thought they were going to be there with you forever. But they said, nope. The money and the clout is not worth it. And they said, goodbye forever. Y'all need to let it go. So you guys tell me what you think about these two ladies. And no, I'm not fat phobic by any stretch of the imagination. But I'm just saying, like, do you feel like... Sometimes when women are heavy set, they're more prone to be vulnerable and just easy prey for people who are not that great for them. So you guys tell me what you think. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe, comment, and share. And I'll see you in my next one. Peace.